All right, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahava Kakwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai, and who I reverence and honours to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. All right. And this lesson is going to be based on the sheep that we were commanded to feed. All right. The sheep. Um, and amongst the sheep, you're going to have wolves. All right. And these are the things that matter. Because guess what? This was prophecy warning you of the last days what would be happening. Okay. So let's start off with John, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. And what Yahabasha commanded is men to do. Go to John 21 first. This is John 21 and this is verse 15. So when they had dined, okay, Yahabasha said to Simon, Peter, right? Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, you have shall thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. So in other words, Peter's integrity was being challenged. Right? He saith unto him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, Jehovah Shaddai, knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Right? He saith unto him again the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. So this is a man's integrity, character being what tested. Because Yahweh I did know all things. And Peter knew he knew all things. And that's why Peter was grieved. <laughs> okay. Yahweh said unto him, feed my sheep. So that even goes without saying. That's our duty. And why was that mentioned as well? Let's go to Acts 20. Uh, what? Before we go to Acts 20, let's go to Peter's. It's Peter's one and see if I can find it. Oh, here, right on it. This is Second Peter's, not Second Peter's, First Peter's, fifth chapter, right and two. It says, feed the flock of the Most High. Right? Because this is Yahweh Shai's sheep. In John 17, it talks about the Heavenly Father gave these to what Yahweh Shai. Right? Feed the flock which is among you. Taking an oversight thereof. So you have a duty. You have a flock of sheep that are listening. The sheep are the children. I didn't mention that. The, the sheep are the listeners, the children of Israel. They're the sheep. Taking oversight thereof. Not by constraint. Constraint. Type in that word, see what comes up. We don't want to be unconstraining when it comes to teaching this word. Oh, do I have to? Or oh, do I have to teach today? And there's going to be some, some days where that may happen. But you just know that ain't nothing by the devil. Go to that word constraint. Um, check it out. Constraint, restraint. We didn't come into the truth to be restricted on what to say without constraint. Vulgar Latin from constrictors. To bind together to tightly to shackle to chain, right? And you got you basically you got demons out here that don't want us to teach. They want us to stop, right? You got a lot of passive aggressive demons, right? 
compulsion, repression of emotions. Bro, you shouldn't have to repress your emotions for no one. Speak the words of Yahweh Shai. The state of being physically constrained. Okay. A device that retards, retards something. Motion. Right? The act of constraining the foot of use of force to control the thoughts and behaviors of others. So th this is what's going on as well. You've got agents, you may may have demonic neighbors, you know, that might have to try to set up certain stumbling blocks, try to stop you from teaching. Bro, don't worry about it. That's Satan that's controlling them. Without constraint. See how much I want these men to be bold. But willingly. You've got to have a willing mind. You should be excited. Hey, to what you have Shai, another day to teach. You should be excited about this. Not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Filthy lucre is um money, gain. Alright. A lot of these a lot of these camps up are, are set up because they have what something called a pyramid scheme. Right? Where they're raking in all this money, but really that's between them and you have a shine. Not for filthy food, food, but of a ready mind. Are you ready to teach? Are you ready to minister? Right? Neither as being lords of the most has heritage. Don't be like um. Don't be like Gaddafi. Don't be like Stalin. Right? Don't be like Putin. Right? He's being dictated. Right? Tyrannical. Okay. But being example to the flock. Don't be in that spirit where I'm bro. You don't know what you're talking about. I've been in this for 15 years. You've only been in this for three years. You've got men with that mentality. Right? You've got men with that mentality. And yeah, that is pride. And guess what? Yes, obviously, if a man's been in longer, you have, of course, you have a certain level of respect. But the Pharisees were in for a long time. The chief priests were there for a long time. Right? You had high, you had high priests. Right? Well, what did, what did what was told Jeremiah? No, you speak my words unto them. Don't be afraid. Of, you gonna speak what I tell you to speak. And when you go, if you're going off, you're going off. Whether you've been in this for 15, 20, 30 years, if you're going off, you're going off. A brother could be in this for a year, two years. If he tells me something where where I see well, that, that there's a thought in myself, I accept it. Regardless of how long a man's been in. Neither as being laws over the most high heritage, but being an example to the flock. And the major way you're an example to the flock is by feeding them. Right? And you know what's so spiritual? Anytime you watch um, any animal type of documentary, lions or whatever it may be, them lions or them, ch or, or them, um, them, what's it, them birds, they teach their chicklings right and their cubs how to do things how to hunt how to hunt how to jump what to look out for they teach them because they're being an example to the flock at first what they get in the food for them when that changes so we got to be the same way example to the flock so they can be built up and they can go out and they can be strong for Yahweh shy men are not really teaching you that ah, nah, nah, nah. you, you got to be with us which there is unity in the brotherhood. Don't get it twisted. But men are teaching you. You've got to be with us. If you're not with this particular camp. You ain't popping. Nothing's going to happen. No. If you're with you have a shy. Things are going to happen. And you're going to be strong. Rather than some of that. Oh we need to link up. I'm feeling weak. Um, I need to link up. Nothing's wrong with that. Make sure you're strong. Even when no one's around you. Make make sure you're still strong for you have a shy. Alright. Check the time, excuse me just a minute. Right? It's about being strong for your have a shy. Okay. This ain't a joke, man. This is not a joke. Um when the chief shepherd shall appear, which were waiting for you have a shy, you shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Bro, this is why we're doing this. Likewise, you younger submit yourselves unto the elder. And a lot of our people stop right there. See, likewise, see, likewise, you younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Oh, put, put the Bible down. Yes, because we know there's an order. Yet all of you be subject to one another. 
and be clothed with humility for the most high the proud and give of praise to the humble right so it's all around no matter how long a man's been in no matter how less a man's been in hold on just a minute and according to the, to the scriptures that's the way it's supposed to go all right so we went into that now we're going to go into the warning that was told to us by Paul concerning the flock. These are the things that need to be read because the, a lot of individuals, they're missing these things out. What was going to be going on in these last days? Okay, let's start at Acts 20 and 26. Acts 20 and 26. All right. This is Acts 20 and 26. Wherefore I take to you to record this day that I am pure, pure from the blood of all men. All right. In other words, innocent, because Paul, he didn't he didn't hold nothing back. Anything that was wrong within the teachings, anything that he saw that was off, he didn't turn a blind eye to it. All right? His dealings were right, right. In other words, unstained with the guilt of anything, blameless, sincere. All right. Let's continue. For I have not shunned. I want to get that word as well. I have not shunned. So no, he wasn't shunning away from anything. Okay. For I'm plucking the bill. I have not shunned to declare unto you the counsel the all the counsel of the most high he was at shunning away and when you go into that word shun to draw back to lower to withdraw a timid person to withdraw oneself to be timid to cover to shrink can't be that way i know but i know him i've been laboring with these men and you're, you're still seeing things that are not right and of those who for timidity hesitate to avow what they believe to be unwilling to utter from fear, to shrink from declaring, to conceal, dissemble. So how can you call yourself a minister of your house chef if you're shrinking to say what what's really needs to be said? Also of your own self shall men. Also it says also of your own self. So there may be men amongst you, amongst your camp, shall men arise. Come out of nowhere. Where did this guy come from? From Yasharada, next thing, he's teaching a whole other doctrine. Speaking perverse things, corrupt things, to draw away disciples after them. There's men that set up their own little thing just to draw men after them. Just so they can follow them. Therefore, watch and remember, but the space of by three years I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. Paul was zealous about keeping everything the right way. Right? Making sure there was no isms. And schisms warning you yeah there was going to be false prophets right this is serious and guess what everything I'm reading now guess what it is prophecy so even within the Gospels there's prophecy not just in Isaiah Jeremiah revelations there's prophecy in the Gospels and what things were going to be happening in these last days how men were going to be moving who were the true prophets going to be? Who were the false prophets going to be? Let's go to John 10. And this was, again, this is Yahabashai. Warning. Right? Warning. His men. Right? His followers, his believers. What to look out for? How to identify if some are trying to lead you on the wrong path? It's the parable of a, a good shepherd. Alright. So let's get through this. And Lord willing this said I find. Verily, verily I say unto you. I want to look at this word verily. Firmly. Metaphor. Faithfully. Truly. Alright. Okay. Truly, truly, truly I say unto you. He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold. And the door 
would be known as a gateway. Right? So there's only one gateway to Yahweh Shai. And when you go into that, it says, In the parable of a metaphor, the door through which sheep go in and out, the name of him who brings salvation, that would be Yahweh Shai, to those who follow his guidance. So we've got to do this the right way. An open door is used of the opportunity of doing something. The door of the kingdom of heaven like to a palace. No, that's the physical. No. The notes are conditions which, mon- which must be complied with in order to be received in the kingdom of the Most High. So there's a particular order and way we have to do things. Of Yahavashai. It's Yahavashai's order. Alright? Whoever's not entering not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbing up some other way. If you see someone climbing up a house, you might think, well, what's going on? He's something's looking dodgy here. The same as a thief and a robber. Right? Because they're not coming in the right way. You knock at the door. Right? But him the poor to open it. But he that entered him by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Excuse me. Right? That's how you know you're a true shepherd. Because you're entering in by the door. To him the porter openeth and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name and he leadeth not. So it says the sheep hear the voice. Because sheep, you look at sheep. I've done it as well. May have shouted to a sheep. Want it to come over. It doesn't because it doesn't recognise. It may not recognise you. The sheep recognise the voice of their owners. Those they trust. And he could have his own sheep, right, by name, and leadeth them out. And when he put forth his own sheep, he goeth before them and follow, and the sheep follow him. It says he goes before them. You ain't going to do none of this rubbish where you're standing behind your sheep. You're standing behind them, watching them like a tyrant. You're standing in front. And we're going to do it this way, but I'm going to lead. For they know his voice. So the sheep know the voice. Right? Of Yahweh Shai. And a stranger would they not follow. But will flee from him. They will flee from the stranger. For they know not the voice of strangers. Those that are coming with these different doctrines. These wayward, wayward doctrines. These far out doctrines. Oh no we can't be. You know we can't be arguing amongst each other. We got to come together. Where in the scriptures does it say we got to come? We all got to come together as a nation. If that was the case, then what Zechariah that would be done away when it says one what one third shall be what left, two thirds what be, are going to be wiped out. All right. So you got men they're pushing their own agenda. How could they do their own thing? How could we start something new and get all the camps together? Unity camp. Yeah, it's a good gesture, but it's not of your. It's not that's not of Yahweh Shai. The unity, the scripture says, how pleasant is it for brothers to, to dwell together in unity, even within that scripture. Well, who are your brothers? Yahweh Shai said that those that do the will of Yahweh are Shai. Can't be unified with those that are teaching something else. And a stranger will they not follow? So the true sheep, the elect, were not going to follow a stranger. And that's why Yahweh also what does these excommunications and separations. Because you may even have a camp leader. He's scoffing about the sign, but nobody really knows. He's scoffing about the sign. He's lukewarm. Doesn't really care about the truth. Doesn't really mention Yahweh He can tell you all this stuff about Esau, these articles. So again, the stranger was going what? They were not going to know a stranger. This guy's a stranger. This guy's a false prophet. But will flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake unto them. But they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Ren said you have to them again. And this is what I love. He would always break down the parable. Most of the time when you read these parables. He would break it down a second time. Ren said you have again unto them again. Verily, verily I say unto you. I am the door of the sheep. So now this is Yahushua explaining what he mentioned in John 10, right? He said, well, I'm the door, which we just read what that door was. <coughs> All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear him. 
I am the door. Right? By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. I shall go in and out and find pasture. Which goes back to what I think is what Psalm 24. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. So we find pasture, which is his word, which we what graze upon. And it says, and he shall be saved. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. And this is um, twofold as well. Esau, we know yes, he went to the shores of America. He stole, he lied and all that. Okay, yeah, we know he done that. But when it says the thief cometh not but to kill and for destroy, this is the spiritual demon Satan. Right? He wants to take what you have. Kill and destroy. That's a narcissistic spirit. That's a Je that's a Jezebel spirit. Also, that's the a harb. That's what spirit he had. Thief cometh not but to kill. Uh, thief cometh not but to kill and to destroy. That sounds like a narcissistic spirit. And Satan is a narcissist. He's a control freak. I am come that they might have life. We have life through Yahweh Shai, and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. And that's why what we make sacrifices for this truth. But he that is a hireling, hireling goes into what a mercenary. Right? Esau just may give you some money and say, you know what, we want you to teach this, teach that. Um, if you sign this 501c3 charter, and but don't don't mention this, don't mention that. Right? That's a wicked hireling. And not the shepherd, his own sheep are not see if the wolf coming. So you see the wolf coming with them wayward doctrines. You see it. And leave if the sheep and flee if. This is called controlled opposition. Right? And I, I see what's going on. And others are going to, the elect are going to wake up to, to the skullduggery. And the wolf catcheth them. And scattereth the sheep. Because that was the plan from the beginning. Right? The hiding to leave the sheep and have them caught up with the wolf. It's all right, it's all right. We've got somebody else that will cover that. That's controlled opposition. The hiding fleeth because he is a hiding. And careth not for the sheep. Right? So a hiding doesn't care for the sheep. And a hiding, there's what's the what what's the what's the major sign of a hiding? Someone, yeah, that's lukewarm. May you know they may do a video every five days, seven days. That's a higher name, right? You have a certain exemptions, but not just that. He he's um he doesn't really teach you you have a shy. That's a higher name. Then he may he may he may come to camp, leave camp. You don't see him again. That's a higher name. He was paid to do an unpleasant job. He doesn't care for the sheep. He's about his own belly. He was hired just to turn up. I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and I am known of mine. Yahweh Shai really knows who I is. As the father knoweth me, even so I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. Other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Right? Northern tribes, them also I must bring. They also must hear my voice and they shall be one fold and one shepherd. That one stick, which is mentioned in Ezekiel. Therefore does my father love me, because I lay down my life that I might take it again. No man take it from me, but I lay it down of myself, and I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment I have received of my father. And after that, there was a division among the Jews. But you see how important it is to feed the sheep, because there's many grievous wolves, and the scriptures told us this would happen in the last days. You would have many grievous wolves. And a lot of these camps are set up so you so you would be what confused. Well, who's got the truth? Well, who do you go to? You read the scriptures. Yahweh He is the truth. You trying to look at every camp. Well, who's got the truth? Who's got this? Who's got that? Le you lead on Yahweh Shai. Within these camps, you've got certain men, yeah, that have the truth, but you've got certain men that have the truth, but they're still corrupt with the truth. So who do you lean on? You lean on Yahweh Shai. Yeah, men are going to teach you things. Men are going to teach you this and that. But who do you lean on? You lean on Yahweh Shai. And he knows his sheep. Matthew 24. And 
11 and many false prophets shall rise and deceive many it says many it doesn't say a few it says many so most of these videos you watch not all most of them we're going to be false prophets it says many shall arise and deceive many and many were going to be deceived this is this is not a, a world friendly thing there's only going to be a few that really really understand Yahweh Shai right and really have that spirit of Yahweh Shai that's where you really when we read these scripts we really have to go into depth and what Yahweh Shai was what showing us telling us and not just Yahweh Shai Paul and then many took Peter okay so with this lesson i'm going to shut off here lord willing this was edifying and yes there will be wars amongst the sheep until the next time shadow one